In this video, I want to show you how I use Zapier to directly to pull in lead submissions from my investor Kyrat site directly in the Podio. So first, you go to Zapier, you create a free account, and then you come up here, say make a Zap, and now we want to create we want to connect Gravity Forms, which is what Investor Carrot uses. You can also use Gravity Forms for any any WordPress site. It's a it's a premium app that a premium plugin that you can purchase. I think it's uh, thirty bucks, and it's a great tool. I use it for my other websites as well. But uh, I digress, and let's get back to this integration. So the first thing we want to do is choose Gravity Forms. Let's type it in here to find it. And then select the trigger. So we want to say on new form submissions, we want to trigger this action. Now we'll choose the destination, which would be Podio. Podio, choose the action. What happens when Zapier pulls the information from Gravity Forms? You want to create a new item in Podio. So now we'll continue. Now this next step, you'll have to go to your website. I'm going to go to my Investor Carrot website and we need to copy this link and we're going to paste it into your website in the settings for your form. So now I'm on my Investor Carrot site in my forms area. These are all my forms. I created this tutorial form for, uh, for, test, for this video. I have the address fields a name, a phone, and an email address. So let's go to the form settings, go down to the Zapier, and now I want to create a new Zapier. We'll give it a name, and now we'll paste that URL, this web address, into this place right here. Now make sure it's active. Yes, we can deactivate this at any time by just coming in here and selecting no. And you can also do conditional logic. I haven't gotten into this yet, but I imagine you can do things like if you only want to pull in leads from a specific county, town, or with a name. But uh, I want all my leads to be put into Zapier so, or a Podio, so I'll leave this disabled. Now we'll save the Zapier feed. And that's all you have to do on your website. Now we'll go back to Zapier, hit the continue button. Now we'll choose my Podio account that I want to use. Test the connection. Everything's okay. Continue. Next we want to see if there's any, uh, you can do some filtering on this end too. I don't want to do any filtering, so we'll continue here. Now we have to say which uh, workspace and application we want to put the new uh, form submission into. So we'll select the work, the uh, account first, and from Podio, the workspace, put into my tutorial workspace. Now we'll put into pick the application, pick into leads, and. Then it will load the app's data into this Zapier form so you can then match up the submission forms from your Gravity Form website and place them into your Podio fields. So there's no file attachment. I don't know why they add that in there, but you don't need it. The address, click Insert Fields, and we want the address, line one, street address, city. Address city, address state, scroll down for me, state province, and zip, zip code. All right, now we have a map field in our Podio app, and the map field wants the complete address. Now in our gravity form we have the address broken up into different segments different fields but the cool thing about this is we can enter in 
select multiple fields to come in here. Street address, city, state, and finally zip. So now when it imports into Podio, you'll get the full address string for the map to use and so it can show you the, the location. Now in status form, we don't have a status on our Podio in our uh, gravity form, but what we can do is select a default status that we want to use. And these statuses come from Podio and they're the category field options. We're going to pick in prospect. Now we don't one problem with Zapier is it doesn't support the contact field in Podio, which means that you're going to have to create individual text fields for your contact. It's not a problem. I use this on my main Podio app and it works out just fine because all I need is the name, the email address, and the, the phone number. So normally you would have, so I would have here contact name, email address, and contact phone number. In this case, since I can't put it in there, I just wanted to mention this to you so you know when you set up your Podio app. So now bedrooms, we don't have a bedrooms field, so we'll leave this blank. It should default to zero. asking price, image, we don't have any of this, relationship, we don't know the relationship yet. So okay, if we're satisfied with how these are mapping, come down to the bottom, hit continue, then we can test the gravity form trigger. It's going to be tough to test if you have absolutely no data in your Podio account because what it'll do is it'll go into your Podio account and pull a record so you can then test it based on the information so you have full information. You don't have to go into your your gravity form website and fill in a new a new uh, contact form. You can do that and that's how I tested it the first time before I had any data in my Podio but that's how this works. And this C action sample this is showing you just how things align up and what your default field values are. So now that I'm happy with everything, we'll hit continue, give it a name, and then turn it on. And now it's completely set up. It's turned on here, and turned on here. So next time a form gets filled out, it'll be placed into Podio and you'll be good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.